Hello and welcome to the fourth and final part of the Unit Circle Saga. In this video, we're going to set this up. What is it? It's the Unit Circle. With every, every common angle in radian measure and degrees, the corresponding points, all set up beautifully on this template here. So this template, if you can, print it out. If not, just take a ruler, draw your axes, and then get a compass or some paper clips and set up a beautiful little circle to work in. When I do this in class, we usually have a circle about as big as the page. So our little circle, I should say, is as big as a page pretty much. So you have room to fit everything in. And then once you set it up, pause, you keep this video paused, set it up, and try to fill it out as far as you can. And then press play to see how I fill it out. Okay, so I'm assuming right now you have a circle drawn and an X and a Y axis, and then I'm going to go around and fill out everything with you. The first thing I'd like to highlight are these four points. you got a point here, point here, here, and here, and then these three points as well. That's how to do it. And I start there because I have 1, 0, I have 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And the shortcut for these three points we talked about, but I'll say it again, every denominator is two, right? And then the numerators go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we square root every single numerator. But I don't need to square root a one, do I? The square root of one is just one, so I'll leave that alone. Then I fill out my degrees. These degree marks are at 30, 45, and 60 degrees, which is pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. And no, you're not crazy. It's super easy to confuse this 3 with this 6, and this 6 with this 3. So be, be aware, it's naturally confusing. All right, so now we've got our first quadrant set up. Then we can we could try to race. It's kind of fun to see how fast you can fill this out. But I think it's fun to also meander around the circle and just look for different kinds of symmetry. I guess before I do that, I should also fill out this is at zero degrees, zero degrees, which is zero radians, and this is 90 degrees, which is pi over two radians. And we could do all the degrees and radians and kind of spin around the circle, but I just want to kind of admire that because we've chosen a circle, we can use symmetry, all right? So all kinds of symmetry we can use here, and I'm going to use this symmetry that you might have noticed as you were filling it out. So if I take my ruler and I draw a line through the origin across the circle, I essentially get another point where the x and y values are opposites, right? You can think of transformations in geometry or slope, right? So for slope, to get to this point, we would have gone up radical 2 over 2, over radical 2 over 2. Now we're going down and back. So everything is the opposite. So there, this is negative, negative radical 2 over 2, negative radical 2 over 2. And then I could do that for my other points as well. So I get from here to here. I should use my line tool. Right? I could admire that symmetry. And I get what? Well, instead of 1 half and radical 3 over 2, I get negative 1 half and negative radical 3 over 2. And then over here, again, I just flip the x and y value of that point. So I started with positive radical 3 over 2, and I got negative. I started with positive 1 half, and now I've got negative. And that's a nice way I like to get those points here, here, and here. Now, you could do that, use that symmetry throughout. But I could also use the original three points or the new three points in the first, the third quadrant and just look around. What do I mean? Over here, to go to this point, these two points have the same heights. So do these two, and so do these two. So that's fun. Let's use that feature. Okay, so then everything's over 2. And by the way, oh yeah, that's right. Everything's over 2. So I'll put all 2s in here. 2s, 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 2s. Now the top point up here, what do we know? Well, it's the opposite of the x value of pi over 3 and has the same height, radical 3 over 2. This is the opposite. In fact, all of the x's are opposites but all of the y's are the same. So now we've got the values of these three points here, right? And I could go clockwise and fill out all of my angles, 
but I might as well use what I know so far. What do I know so far? I know that this arc length is pi over 6, and the radian measures pi over 6. So if I want to find this angle here, I can just go pi over 6 up from, or use the, the reference angle from the x-axis to that terminal point. In other words, it's pi over 6 less than pi. How do I know that? Well, I should have labeled it, but this is pi radians, or 180 degrees. Take a sixth away from that, and you get 5 pi over 6, right? Take a fourth away from that, and you get 3 pi over 4. Take pi over 3 away from that, and you get 2 pi over 3, right? So I'm just taking these, these arcs away, in the other direction, essentially, from the from 180 and not from zero. And then, that, of course, that corresponds to my points. This is 30 degrees before 180, 150. This is 45 degrees before 180, or 135. And this is 60 degrees below 180, or 120, not 130, 120. All right. Then I'm going to keep going clockwise, and I'll fill in our fourth quadrant, and we're done. Okay. So in the third quadrant, we are going by radians again. So this is the first one over here is a sixth pass pi. So instead of uh, six pi over six, it's seven pi over six. And then it's a fourth pass pi, so it's five pi over four. Then it's a third pass pi. Instead of three pi over three, it is uh, four pi over three. Four pi over three. And the angle measures, first we go up by 30, so we get 210. Then we go up by 45, we get 225. We go up by 60, we get 240. And I should fill out this landmark over here. It's 3 pi over 2, which is also 270. And in the fourth quadrant, let's use that symmetry again. Let's go from the second quadrant. Why not? It's just fun. Um, I can go across like this. Oops, I disappeared. Right there. That does not look good. We can do better. Boom. So that'll flip the um, x and y values. And so we'll here as well. And here as well. I have not gotten the hang of this line tool yet in this program. I think you get the idea. So in the fourth quadrant, what's going to happen? Well, instead of in the middle here, negative square root of 2 over 2, it's positive square root of 2, everything's going to flip. So it's positive square root of 2 over 2. Let's throw my line tool. Positive square root of 2 over 2. And then negative square root of 2 over 2. And then looking at this point to this point here, right, connecting these two dots, what's going to happen? We get radical 3 over 2. And then negative 1 half, right? And then finally, uh, up, we go from up here to down. Well, let's see, let me see that. Up here to down here. And again, everything flips. So... It's positive one half and negative radical three over two. And if you didn't like that methodology, instead of going through the origin, you could use the, the fact that these have the same x values, or that these have the same x values, right? Or that these have the same y values, right? Like we talked about these having the same y values as well. In other words, in other words, you can approach any quadrant from any other quadrant and figure it out that way. And finally, finally, last piece. Uh, we look at the fourth quadrant, and we have a couple of things happening. This is pi over 6 before uh, 2 pi, right? So 2 pi is 12 pi over 6. Take a sixth away, you get 11 pi over 6, which is another way of saying uh, 30 degrees less than 360 or 330. This is 2 pi radians. Then we say 45 degrees less than 330 is 315, and 60 degrees less than 330 is 300. Uh, pi over 4 less than 2 pi, so it's 8 pi over 4 minus a fourth is 7 pi over 4. And then uh, a third of pi less than 2 is, we have 6 thirds minus 1 third is 5 pi over 3. And there it is. Now, for fun, if you like, I think, um, I don't know if I've written down somewhere, I think the record for this is certainly under 5 minutes to fill this whole thing out. If you want, time yourself and fill it out it'll certainly help, because what you have built is a calculator. So how is this a calculator, or like a calculator? Well, remember, one of the key elements of the unit circle is that all of the x values around the circle are the cosines of the corresponding angle measures, or radian measures, 
uh, angle measures or arc length measures. These are all cosines. You're looking at all the cosines. If you look at all the y values, you're looking at all the sines of those arc lengths or angle measures. So as a quick example, right, if we're saying x is cosine, y is sine, if you're looking at 225, the cosine is right here. It's, it's radical 2 over 2. The sine is right here. It's also negative. Um, the cosine is negative radical 2 over 2. And the sine is also right there. It's negative radical 2 over 2. If I asked you about 150, you can say this, the cosine is negative radical 2 over 2. And the sine is 1 half. So you have a way of quickly calculating these landmark angles and radian measures. Thanks.